Frank, what would you say to the person who is wrestling a lot with his or her faith? Keep wrestling. In fact, that's what the writers of the Bible did. It's throughout the Bible. They're wrestling with God and wrestling with faith. Pray that God would uh, affirm you in your faith as Peter prayed. So we all wrestle with faith. We all have moments of doubt. In fact, I wrote a book called I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist, and sometimes I still doubt. But you know, most of the time when I think about my doubts, I realize that my doubts are emotional. They're not intellectual. You know, I'm thinking about emotional issues which cause me to doubt. But then I look at the evidence and I realize the evidence for Christianity is quite good. What's changing is me. Some days I'm having a good day, everything's fine. Other days I'm having a bad day. And, oh, I don't even know if God exists. In fact, my friend Greg Kokel says, look, before I have my first cup of coffee in the morning, I'm an atheist. After I have my first cup, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. And then by the time I have my second cup, I'm back to being a Christian. <laughs> What's changed? Has the evidence changed? No, he's changed. And I realize that I do this too. I'm changing emotionally, but the evidence is quite good. When I look at the evidence, the evidence for Christianity is quite good. In fact, it takes a lot more faith to be a non-Christian than it does to be a Christian. So when I start doubting, I realize I ought to start doubting my doubts because my doubts are emotional, they're not intellectual. If I start doubting my doubts, then I'm back to knowing something for sure. So continue to wrestle, continue to investigate. The one thing in this world you'll never know enough about is God. God is the only is the only perpetual novel, novelty. He's infinite. So you'll never understand enough about him. Even when you get to heaven, you'll never understand enough about him because he's infinite and we're finite. So you can always pursue God and learn more and more about him. So I highly, highly recommend you do that. In fact, that's why we're here, to know God and to make him known.